Breaking news! Mrs. Schnell has finally gotten her new chair. She has also started to write a novel based off of her treasure seeker story. And she got this book about how to help her write it. You know Miss Jo loves it when a cat is on the cover. And Mrs. Snow has read six since she's been in quarantine. Who knew she would read so much this year? I'm Elizabeth Bennett and this is Chanel News. Today on Chanel News we have a wonderful cast of characters and to start us off I want to hand us over to Pirate Patty. She seemed a little hostile last week so let's see if her new special guests will cheer her up. Arg! Alright my pirateers, you are going to read about real pirates this week and you are going to learn about how the Wida turned from a slave ship into Sam Bellamy's ship for him and his crew. He's one of my friends. And then you're going to learn more about what happens to the Wida through history and the different tools that archaeologists and historians have discovered on the Wida ship. Speaking of famous pirates, not only are you going to read about a pirate ship and some pirates, but you are also going to be doing a research project on a famous pirate, and I wanted to introduce you to one of my very close, near and dear friends, Grace O'Malley. Yes. Hi, Grace. I want you to just tell the my pirate tears a little bit about yourself. I am Grace O'Malley, Queen of the Pirates. When I was a little girl, pirates tried to kill me further. But I outsmarted them, plundering the vessel. In 1507, I was captured and jailed in Dublin Castle. Wow, Grace, you were one of the only pirateers to sail the seven seas. Tell us more. We do not. I befriended Queen Elizabeth of England. And I wasn't the only pirate woman. Many disguised themselves as men. Well, thank you, Grace O'Malley. Well, that's it for Pirate Patty. And I'm going to scuttle down into my quarters to take a nap. Thank you, Pirate Patty and Grace O'Malley. Oh my goodness. I remember I did a research project on her when I was a little girl and I just loved learning about her and her amazing adventures. So I hope you enjoy learning about the pirate of your choice this week. Now I'm going to turn it to our, our famous Limberjack Jane. She has a special announcement to, to make to you this week. Lumberjack Jane, take it away. Howdy y'all. Lumberjack Jane here. Now I know I'm not my typical sunshiny self. Lumberjack Jane's got allergies. And it's tired. But that's not going to stop her from chopping down those math problems, you hear? So, just because Lumberjack Jane's tired doesn't mean that she gets to just take a nap. Lumberjack Jack. <laughs> Lumberjack Jane's still going to do her math problems. So, you're going to learn about different units of measurement you're going to learn about units of weight you're going to learn about the metric system for measuring length when it comes to weight weight is how heavy an object is 
lot of times you go to the doctor and they weigh you. See how heavy you are. That's how much. That's how much an object weighs. How heavy it is. Now, 16 ounces equal one pound. So remember that last week we talked about ounces as far as liquid units of measurement. Well, America likes to make things difficult sometimes, and so we also have ounces that are for weight. So 16 ounces equals one pound. Now pounds, you should know that because that's how we measure our weight. Pounds is a customary unit of weight. So if a recipe calls for a pound of hamburger, you would need 16 ounces of hamburger or one pound. Now we're gonna go to a ton. A ton can be a hyperbole. You know, my cat weighs a ton. Now Leo does not weigh a ton. But a ton can also be a customary unit of weight. So a ton equals 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. So unless you have an object that weighs 2,000 pounds, it really doesn't weigh a ton. My bed doesn't even weigh a ton. That tree back there probably doesn't even weigh a ton. Quite yet. Wait till it grows a little bit taller. So this is units of weight. Ounces, pounds, tons. Ounces, pounds, tons. Ounces, pounds, tons. Now, metric length. Metric units of length. Now, like I said before, America likes to take make things a little bit difficult. So we measure things in length of inches, feet, yards, miles. You've already learned those. But the rest of the world likes to measure things in the metric system. The metric system. And it's a little easier. Just a little bit. Because they are in powers of 10, or mul sorry, multiples of 10. Metric units are in multiples of 10. So, in one centimeter, one centimeter, that equals 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters. And one meter, a meter stick is a little bit longer than a yard, or shorter, longer. In a meter stick, it's longer. There is about a hundred centimeters and one thousand millimeters. In one kilometer, you have one thousand meters. So when it says five kilometers, that's five kilometers. So you would multiply five by 1,000 to get how many meters that is, which would be 5,000 meters. So there's 5,000 meters and five kilometers. So lumberjacking soapbox. Weight, how heavy an object is, ounces, pounds, tons. Metric unit of length, millimeter, millimeter. 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. Centimeter, 100 centimeters equals one meter meter 1000 millimeters <laughs> equals 
one meter and 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. All right, my mathematician's ready to go chop down those math problems this week. Schnell News could not exist if it wasn't for our sponsors. I would like to say, thank Silk Almond Milk for making an amazing appearance in last week's episode, as well as being in Mrs. Schnell's daily chai tea. Well, that's it for Schnell News, and as normal, fourth grade, stay classy.